Ah, <sighs> hey everybody, it's Super Wolf of Galloway. Welcome back to some more The Legend of Zelda. In the previous episode, we finished up the dragon, was it? I think it was called that. And in this episode, we're going to be gathering up some stuff for the next dungeon. So what I want to do now is I'm not too bothered now because I'm not against whiz, whiz, whiz robes. So what I want to do now is remember where we got the blue ring from? Um, we need to go back there, but we do need quite a lot of rupees. Right. Um, we could get a red potion along the way, but I don't really want to do that. So we're in the graveyard now. We've got a. We haven't got that long to go. Uh, I, it's just the rupee collecting. Now here, I found a little glitch. Well, it's not a little glitch. It's a super easy way. Touch these gravestones at the left like this. And then kill the, the slow moving ghost. And you can get an absolutely ton of rupees and all the other stuff. And I'm just going to freeze time there. And I'm just going to take that heart. And you can get an absolute ton of rupees by doing this. Um, if you can get every single gravestone out, imagine the rupees. I actually don't. Well, if you can get every ghost out, just keep an eye on which one's moving the slowest, and you can get a absolute ton of rupees. Wait, which one's moving the slowest? Which one's the slowest? There he is. Wait a minute. Which which one is it? Is it? Where is he? He's there at the top left. That's him over here. This is him. There we go. One, two, three. Boosh. Didn't get that much from that one, which was unfortunate. But it, oh crap, get that life. Get the life, holy crap. All right, what am I doing, what am I doing? No, I lost all the rupees. Oh, that's a shame. I didn't get them. I need 60 rupees anyway, so it um, should be fairly easy considering that there's so many enemies now. Um, I'm not gonna use my arrows because I really wanna save money. I need money. We want my money. So, <laughs> I'm gonna just take out a lot of enemies now. Wow, that was actually a really cool shot. Hit. Hit. I said hit. Holy crap. Um, I could enter the next dungeon, but we're going to need a certain item. Well, we are going to need an item for the next dungeon. And it's 60 rupees. And I don't really see any point of having it. And I don't really see how people would have found it out. Because it's so free freaking. It's so freaking dumb. But anyway. Uh, oh, shit. I'm stuck in this. Um... Right, I think I'm out of it. That that's a maze, by the way. Um, but um, kill them. Right, I can actually get over to them, which is pretty cool. If you go north like there and just hit that, you don't actually go into the staircase. And you get across to the other side. Right. Um, where am I going? I think I want to head. I I haven't got enough rupees. Anyway, I need forty more. So maybe I should like thingy some rupees but anyway this is the area that we gotta go and um, we gotta do this but we can't actually do anything now because i need uh, the bait i think that is the area that i need to go yeah well there's two areas like that that was not the one that i needed to go i need to get some rupees now um which i think i'm just gonna head this way for maybe i can get some rupees because it's it's in here we need the bait um you remember this area don't you these guys give you a lot of rupees well, it gave me two. Thanks. So I'm going to sponge a bit of rupees here, guys. And I'm going to meet you guys back at where we got the blue ring. All right, then, guys. I am back in this area. And I've just got the wrong guard out. Okay, whatever. Um, I think it's this one. Yes, yeah, there we go. So, oh, press the right trigger again. Holy crap. Okay, so there's the bait. 60 rupees. I have 62. So there we go. We need the bait to enter the next... Well, we don't need the bait to enter the next one. Anyway... We have every single item besides two. So we only need two more items, which is going to be in the next dungeon and then the dungeon after that. So anyway, ow, shit, I just punched my desk. Don't care. The pain feels good. Anyway, uh, you actually don't need the bait to enter the next dungeon, but it's, it'll make it easier. It'll make it easier for the next dungeon, okay? So if I'm going the right way, that would be just fine and dandy. So I think this way up to here where there is nothing you want to go ahead and use your flute do 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 yeah didn't know that did you that's how good i am all right whatever next dungeon here we go so i am going to go south down anyway um whatever <laughs> so first of all i'm gonna go ahead and head left i believe actually i can't head left so i want to go ahead and head right uh, Moldorms are back in this dungeon. 
which aren't too bad. Uh, they were like the mid boss of the second dungeon or something like that. But um, very, very easy enemy. Don't take that much life off you either. Hopefully this dungeon is going to be absolutely radical. So uh, I want to head north twice here. Um, maybe that wall is bombable. I am not entirely sure. Um, I love this. Um, look, I just killed every enemy in one hit. How was that possible? All right, whatever. So this room is like this. Maybe I could bomb the north wall. Um, yeah, it can actually. So if you bomb this north wall, it actually leads to an absolutely enormous shortcut. Um, you actually don't need to do half of the shit in this dungeon now. <laughs> And the compass is in this room as well. Oh, Stalfo says, hey buddies, how are you doing? It's a shame you're only taking one hit to kill now. So go ahead and kill every single Stalfos. Get yourself the compass. Bam, sorted. I want to go ahead and take all these rupees. I've re really been skimping on rupees, by the way. Um, Thingy's back in this, uh, this dungeon. If we head right, I think I can bomb this wall. If I head right, um, Dig Dogger is back. I love Dig Dogger, he's probably one of my favourite bosses, because he only takes like two hits. So I want to go and take on Dig Dogger. Um, there is a lot of uh, mini bosses. There's a lot of... M there's a... Is this a bleh. There's a lot of Dig Dogger mini bosses in this. Anyway, I don't really want to do that. I really want to head left, um, because I want to take the shortcut. Um, which is, you want to go north now. Holy crap, a lot of boomerangs. Don't actually need to take on their enemies. I'm going to need to take on these ones. See, I'm not too bad about these because they don't take off like freaking four hearts. Because they're so much easier. Which, I'm having a lot of fun with this dungeon now. So, and actually getting some item drops. Holy crap. I didn't actually get that many item drops. I had a fairy now and again from the blobs. I actually didn't need it because I was already full life. So, anyway. Oh, here's Dig Dogger. There's like five of these in this dungeon, I think. Uh, anyway, use your flute like we did on the boss of Dig Dogger. Oh, we split into three. Wow, they must have realized how easy it was to kill. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I really enjoy this dungeon. This one's nice, actually. Um, oh, 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 okay. I don't know why I killed him. I didn't need to. Oh, all right. Whew. Where am I going now? Have I got to head north? I guess I got to kill all the enemies in this dungeon. But maybe I should get go back and get a key because I really need a key. Uh, and I know where there's one. Oh, fairy. Yes. Awesome. Kill him. Kill him. All right, a lot of rupees. How many for that? There's only five. So I do need to head back to get the key that I missed. Uh, at least Dig Dog is dead now. <laughs> Don't have to fight him again. All right. Uh, I'm going to head down. Holy crap. Um, I, wanna, I think I might head left. I think I've got to kill all these enemies again anyway. So I'm going to kill all these. Um, really, really easy. Um, that's what I love about this dungeon. The bosses, well, the levels are so easy. I'm going to head left now anyway. Because I really need a key. Um, oh, Dodongos. Hello. Little Dodongos. Uh, there's nothing in here. I get. I bet there's going to be a key in there. Uh, oh, here's a key from the ropes. We actually don't need to kill any ropes. Um, so we've got to head up to, right? Uh, I guess I want to go north again. I don't really need to kill the Dodongos. But, you know. Oh, little cuties. They look like Pokemon. Right. I bet you'd like to have more bombs. Right! I didn't actually explain this in the previous episode. Um, if you give the old man 100 rupees, you can actually get... Um, you can actually get, you know, more bombs. <laughs> oh, uh, by the way, yeah, the bait. Um, we do actually need the bait. We don't need it to, you know, defeat the dungeon. We actually... Oh, wait. Yeah, we do. We need we need the bait to defeat the dungeon. Holy crap. Oh, wait. I killed all these enemies. All right, whatever. Um, so, they, they have the magical boomerang like we do. Like we do. Anyway, I shouldn't have really used that key for the bombs. Because I, I, I can't have any more bombs. Because I have no minis. So, I actually don't want that upgrade. Um, you know, I've shown all the areas where they are. So, I don't really want to get that upgrade. Gonna head right here. Gonna head right as far as possible to get um, another key. Um, and then I can use that to evade the premises. Right, whatever. Oh my god, just get cornered, bro. Oh yes. They all just got cornered. That was amazing. Nearly finished this game, guys. Only like... Wait, this is the second to last episode, you know? 
Yeah, this is the second to last episode. Dig Dogger, get out of the hell out of my face. Yeah, it's the second to last episode. Holy crap. Right, that one over there's got the key. I don't, I'm not really too bothered about fighting Stalfos. It's really easy. Especially when you got the white sword. Well, the magical sword this is called, isn't it? Right, so we got the key. And now I want to head... Uh, can I bomb this wall? I really don't think I can bomb that wall. Oh, wait. I'm pretty sure I can. Because there is a north exit here. Um, so, unless it is in a different room. Was it quite possible? Yeah. So, it's in a different room. Holy crap. Big Dogger takes a lot, a lot of life. And um, that room north there. That's where I want to go. And just to see what's up here. We've got a very, very, very long way to go, by the way. Uh, there's a secret in tip of the nose. Okay. Thank you, sir. Um, our next dungeon actually is... <laughs> Um, ironically located at the top of Death Mountain. Um, so that's where we got to go next. So once we've done this dungeon, which is a really easy dungeon, by the way. I'm not entirely sure what the boss is. Of the wow, okay, I headed south. I, I was meant to head north. Um, not entirely sure what... The oh my god, I keep knocking the freaking right trigger on my leg. If you've ever wondered why the, um, the right trigger is like... Well, when I click the right trigger, the screen's larger. It's because I, uh, in editing, actually make this larger. I'm playing this in 4.3, which, you, if you know what I mean. So, um, I, I move it to 16.9, um, which is the widescreen resolution settings, which makes it a lot better for you guys to watch. But it's, it's I don't know, it's a lot darker as well. Actually, there's color correction. Anyway, there's a guy here that's going to say, grumble, grumble. Hmm, what do you want, bro? Maybe you want this. Do you want some bait? There you go, bro. Is that okay? Can I head past now? Thank you. All right, so we can head past here and get yourself a map. Yes, got the map. Oh my god, this dungeon is huge. I can't get out. Holy crap, I'm getting smashed. Right, um, so I can't. I'm just going to head stay on this ladder. So why is there so... M oh, wow, those anti-fairies. They are screwing me over um, I guess I could use some uh, arrows now, because I have like 36 uh, monies. There we go. Dude, get out. Alright, there we go. That's easy. Because, oh, I, why did I not do this in the first place? Seriously, so I can actually see where I'm going. See? Alright, if Link can't walk off this, I'm going to go mad. No, he can't. i got to head north. Right, okay, so i got to go this way. Okay, go this way. Whew, save myself. Uh, can't go that way, so I've got to go down, I guess. And then I... Oh, God damn it. This freaking... Ugh! I can't attack. There you go. Screw you. Right. So there's no key. Um, which sucks. So maybe if I head north, I can bomb this wall. Uh, ring Yeah, yeah. Go into here. Get yourself secret rupees. There's quite a bit of rupees there. Oh, well. Right, so now that we've done that, this wall is bombable. Nice. So, I actually did not need a key. So, that's amazing. I actually didn't need a key. Um, so, that's a little secret, guys. So, I just, like, skipped half of the dungeon there. Um, so, if you do that, you can get a sneaky way around. Which I've just done. Done. Not John. What's a John? Right, head right. And what's in here? Oh, a key. Oh, why am I so slow? Did you see the frame rate then? Holy crap. Look at this frame rate. Oh, my days. Can I, I can't head down here, can I? I just want to kill all these guys and get out of here. Um, it's just those fireballs that are screaming. Fairy! Get the fairy. Okay, nice. Get out of here. Ah, uh, I got the key anyway. Right, can I head down now? Yes, I can. And then I want to head down again. Then right. So there's got to be a bombable wall around here if I can kill all these. Wonder what was up with that room. That's the first time I've ever like had a frame rate drop. It was seriously bad. Um, but whatever. Can I use a bomb maybe here and blow up this wall? Uh, can't blow up that one. Can I blow up that one? Yeah, of course. Right, what's in here? This room's not supposed to be here. Okay, I guess this is going to be the dungeon item anyway. So I want to kill the bobbling, uh, mobble. Actually, they're not called moblins. I forgot what they're called. Um, they're called something anyway. Fairy, why aren't you slowing down? Because I've got a stopwatch. Okay, thank you. All right, like any normal Zelda dungeon, push the left block. All right, this is going to take us into this room, which is the red candle. It's not the blue candle anymore. The red candle, uh, believe it or not, 
Actually, you can use it as much as you want on the same screen. This can absolutely obliterate enemies uh, in groups. So, now that I've got the, um, the dungeon item, um, I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to get to the boss. So maybe if I had left. Wait, no, that... Uh, what? Unless the... It's down. Me remember in that room that I got the key? It could possibly be the boss could be down. I We've not actually had that before. The boss has always been up or to the right. Um, so maybe if I bomb this wall... Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. I'm going to have to look up a guy because I've only got one. I've only got one bomb left. Yeah. Um, in the room where we got the dungeon item... Um, with the left block... There is a bombable wall in that room. Um, so luckily, I did look up... Because I was thinking of that. I was thinking of going back to that room and blowing up that wall and not the one to the right. Anyway. Um, we've got every dungeon item. The map, the compass, and the item. So, bomb this wall. And this will lead us into the next room. So we want to head down now. But we can't head down because we've got no bombs. So maybe if I could get a bomb out of one of these guys, I wouldn't be too bothered. Um, I got a key anyway, so maybe there's going to be some bombs. I don't know, some secret bombs for us. Um, hopefully, I can get some. I really need like one bomb. Yes, nice. As I was talking, it gave me a bomb, so I can block that wall now. Boosh. Maybe not. So how do I actually enter this dungeon? Um, head right. All right. So um. Um, this is weird. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, yeah, I was in the right area. So, um, I want to head right. <laughs> and then there's going to be... So, we've got to basically go around the dungeon to find the, um, to get the... To get to the boss, basically. It's quite a long uh, dungeon, this is, but it's a lot of fun. It's better than the other dungeons. Uh, anyway, Dig Dogger again. Only uh, three parts. Well, free. I, he went straight through me then. I was going to give him that attack, considering I did not get hit at all in that uh, area. But anyway, here we go. Uh, Dodongos. I got three bombs. Uh, Dodongos take two, and they do give bombs once they die. So maybe if I could get you. Thank you. And get you again. Okay, thanks. I completely missed. Can I not attack? Yeah, you can't attack them. So, Bosh. Eat my bomb. And, okay, he did not give me anything. So... That was a bad idea, because I did not need to kill the Dodongos. Uh, how do you actually kill them without, you know, bombs? Can you not kill the Dodongos without bombs? Or can I use arrows, maybe? Because, no, look, you can't kill them. Maybe the rod? I'm not entirely sure. But I need bombs again, so I've screwed myself over. So every time he says, I bet you'd like more bombs. Yes, I would, old man. Thank you very much. Right. Okay, um, I need more bombs, seriously, now. I'm not entirely sure where I'm going to get them from, but I will figure out a way to get them. <laughs> so, I'll, I'll meet you guys back there when I found some bombs, because I've got none, which suck. Luckily enough, I was just fighting them enemies in this room, and they dropped freaking bombs. Oh, wow, they're all respawning. <laughs> so, all the enemies are respawning back into the rooms now, yeah, which is good, because I can get some more bombs, if I ever wanted to. Um... But anyway, I'm, I'm feeling so sorry for this game because we are nearly finished, unfortunately. It's been fun. It's been rage-inducing as well. Probably the most rage... It's actually been the most raging Let's Play I've ever done. Because um, it's just so difficult as game is. I mean, seriously, how do people pl like my dad play this back in the day? Mind you, he used, to come he used to come home drunk and freaking beat Super Mario in like one go. It's amazing. If you've ever seen him play, Jesus Christ. Alright, so there is a secret in here. What do I need to do? Um, I really don't want to screw this up. Um, uh, kill all five wall masters that come out of the wall and push the center block in the far right to reveal a staircase. So I've got to kill all the wall masters. Um, there's five uh, all together. Um, very, very easy to kill. I remember in the first dungeon, wall masters were very scary. Um, they're just going around the outside of the room, so I'm not too bothered about them. So, one more wall master's got to come out somewhere. He's going to be around here. Come on, wall master. You coming out, bro? Did I kill five? 
I think I did. Wait a minute. Did I kill all five Woolmasters? Um. Okay. Oh shit! How am I? Ma there he is. There's the last one. Holy crap! How long did it take him to come out? Come out of the closet! All right, there we go. Holy crap! I gotta walk all the way around. <sighs> right. I don't care about anti fairies. I really don't. There we go. Right. Nearly done. Nearly done. Nearly done. Oh god. Okay. Nearly done. Nearly done. Nearly done. Nearly done. Ah. <sighs> and yes, here we go. Yay! I'm nearly done. I I can't believe it. I actually want to do a 3D Zelda game for my next Let's Play. Um, I've got one in mind, but I'm not entirely sure that you guys like it. Anyway, here is the boss. Yes, remember this guy? The first boss of the first dungeon? A little bit tougher now. Still... No, he was not actually tougher. <laughs> anyway, uh... There... There we go. Next time on... The Legend of Zelda, we're going to be finishing this game, alright? I'll see you guys then.